coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ made easy HD tutorial and this tutorial we are going to be learning about sets so uh, in order to use sets we have to include set right and just like with any other container we use the STD namespace whatever the name of it is and what we're going to store inside of it and I'll just call this names again and in Twitter in order to insert something into it we call uh, the name of the variable insert and whatever value goes into it now the difference between this and the other containers is that whatever value you put into this is the indexer and the value itself so to explain that in a more in-depth manner whenever we have a vector whenever we add something to a vector it will be something like name zero is equal to say peter or something like that right so this zero is the indexer or whatever we in located by and this is the actual value so this is the key this is the value in a map we could do something like this like whatever that is a key and this is the value Whatever, so we, we can specify what we access it by and then we specify a value. With sets though, whatever the key is, that is the value as well. So they are both the exact same thing, right? Um, and another thing about sets is that with sets, they cannot have the same name. Or, uh, with sets or they cannot have the same value. They all, all of them have to have unique values in them. And if you want to have a set with multiple values, then we will get into creating a multi set, which will allow us to have multiple things with the same value. So, uh, why is this? Why is this really important to have, say, the same key or the same value uh, to use sets or whatever? Uh, you could use sets in. Uh, let's see an example. Let's say you want to have. Uh, a database of things where only they have to all have unique keys or something like that then you could use a set because with a set uh, all the values have to be unique or returns an error or you could do something different uh, I can't really conjure up an idea right now sorry but yeah sets can be useful and although vectors can handle everything a set can do uh, a, a set can handle certain things, certain tasks faster than a vector. And for that, even though it's a limited scope of things you can do in it, it still has its uses. So just to display this, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a iterator. And I we already learned about type def, but I, I never showed it to you with iterators. And it's the same concept, but we could do something like this. And we can just name it uh, it or something like that. So anytime we want to do an iterator of that type of value, we can just say it whatever. So it could just make it easier on us if we're going to be using a lot of of iterators like this. It just saves us typing all of this out. It's up to you if you guys want to use it. It's up to you if you guys don't want to use it. But we're going to say iterator is equal to names dot begin iterator not equal names dot end iterator plus plus so we're gonna loop through it and we're gonna dereference it and to display the value to the screen and when we run this we get the the names right but if we look at this we see that even though we've inserted this first it is sorted in alphabetical order but sometimes we don't want it to be sorted in that default order. Sometimes we want to have our own custom uh, sort method. And with other container classes, we can use the algorithm sort method in order to sort things. But sets are ordered by default, and that will not work for us. So in order for us to sort it, we have to set up our own sort method in order for, for this to work. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna or we're gonna order it by the string's length rather than by uh, uh rather than by the string's 
uh, this this the letter or alphabetical order. So what we're gonna do is just create a struct and we'll just call this sort order. Now we're going to use a functor or uh, we're going to be using operator overloading and whenever you overload this operator it is called a functor so we're gonna take two strings and I'll just call it first and we'll make another constant string to a reference of second okay now inside here we're going to take uh, the length of first so we'll get first dot length and we'll take the length of number two, oh I spelled length wrong oh well and we'll just say second dot length okay now in here we will say that if length is equal to length two so if length one is equal to length two then we're going to return first less than second and what this this means is that if they are the same length then just do the default sorting method that the that the set already does which means that if they're the same length it will uh, we will organize those t those values those two values in alphabetical order so if they are not the same length then what we will return will return length one is less than length two so remember that this operator or this functor or whatever is of type boolean so it's gonna say that if length one is less than length two then it will return true uh, but if it's not then it will return false and based on that then it will sort it in an order based on our length so in order to activate this sorting order what we have to do is put a comma there and we will put in the name of our class and sorry but we have to I forgot to put the semicolon there so we put it in there like so and if we run this program again so if we run it again now it is sorted based on length okay rather than on uh, rather than based on alphabetical order now if I add in a, a few letters in here to make it the same length they are the same length so now it shouldn't display coding made easy first because they are the same length so what it does is that it modifies so then it returns the alphabetical order rather than the length because they are the same length which is exactly what we did in our functor so that is it for this tutorial on sets i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed it so thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe don't forget to join my forum follow me on twitter at coding made easy like me on facebook and don't forget to join my circle on google plus so that's it for now and bye